the hidden weapon against breakups. I get calls all the time from all you guys, from you guys booking in free calls. I do calls with you guys and you're really scared, you're really nervous that your relationship is about to end. And a lot of you guys, you're right, it is about to end. You are very close to the end of your relationship. A lot of you guys call me and it's within a few weeks of ending. Please call me earlier, because it makes my job a lot easier. Secondly, if you're really scared you're gonna break up, this is what you need to do. This is what, this is what usually happens. A couple starts arguing, they're arguing, they're, and, then, and then what happens? You start to drift apart. As the attraction goes down, people will drift apart, drift apart, drift apart. They'll talk less, they'll start to become distant from each other, yeah? Your job of you watching this video is to bridge the gap. That's the problem. That's what you need to do, you need to bridge the gap. A lot of people just, oh, he doesn't want to talk to me, or she doesn't want to talk to me, he doesn't like me anymore, this relationship's doomed, and you just slowly drift apart, and the negative thoughts get stronger and stronger and stronger, okay? You gotta bridge the gap. When you feel someone drift away, don't drift away as well. You gotta bridge the gap and see them in person. If you feel the relationship is coming to an end, you feel like things are getting bad, it's negative, it's toxic, you're drifting apart, things are getting pretty toxic, you need to see each other in person. Text message isn't gonna cut it. A phone call's not gonna cut it. In person is gonna cut it, why? Attraction, attraction, that's why, okay? If the feelings of something feels off, you guys are becoming distant and you see each other in person, you'll look at each other and go, oh wow, I can't, I, I forgot how beautiful they were. And you just, air, all the negativity flows away. That's very important, you must see each other in person. When you feel someone drifting apart, see each other in person ASAP, as soon as possible. As soon as possible, that's what's gonna save it. Text messages, a lot of, look, text, I like texting. Texting is good, but it's not good for everything. Texting is not good in highly emotional states. Text messaging is fine when it's good. In a highly emotional state, text messaging, text messaging is very bad. It's a, it's a very bad way to communicate. Even phone calls isn't a good way. In a highly emotional state, you must communicate in person. That is very, very, very essential. Text messages is not your friend in highly emotional states. So you gotta see them in person, okay? If you feel things are drifting apart and your partner doesn't really wanna see you, go and see them anyway. Okay, because if you say, we're obviously not doing too well at the moment, can I come see you? They'll, you might, they might say something like, no, I don't really want to see you right now, I'm angry, or I'd rather have some alone time, or I need my space, or do whatever you want to do. Something negative along those lines, right? Your job is to go and see them anyway. Go and see them, try your best. Try your best, go there, try to see them, try to bridge the gap, and hopefully when you see each other, all the negativity floats away. All the negativity disappears. You have a beautiful 20 second hug and you get on with it, okay? That 20 second hug is one of the keys to stop drifting apart. Do two 20 second hugs a day all the time and that affection will really deepen the love connection. Two 20 second hugs a day. Very, 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 very essential, okay? Drifting apart often happens because people spend not enough time together. A lot of people think, well, do I need to create time away from my partner, a healthy amount of time? <laughs> no. It's so, such a ridiculous question. No couple has ever broken up because they spend too much time together. Couples always break up because they don't spend enough time together. If you spend more time together, chemistry, compatibility, everything goes up, your love connection gets stronger, and you just, everything goes better. Spend more time together. You start drifting apart, spend more time together. Okay, and make sure the time you spend together is good. In other words, be nice, okay? One of the real weapons against breaking up is you must build attraction, okay? The reason why breakups happen is because if you think of attraction like a meter, as time goes on, the meter goes down and down and down and down and down until it gets to a certain level, you don't like each other anymore and you break up. That's what happens. The attraction drops. Now, building and lowering attraction simply has to do with everything you do and say. Everything you do and say either makes attraction go up or down. That's it, everything you do and say. If you're a jerk and mean all the time and you're really messy and you're a pig and you say really nasty things, attraction's gonna go down, of course. If you embrace masculine and feminine energy well and you're nice and you communicate effectively and you're just an all around positive human being, attraction will go up. Makes sense, pretty simple, right? It is simple. Most people tend to forget that, especially in highly emotional states. Okay, so you must concentrate on building attraction. Build attraction all the time.
you must do and say the right things to make attraction go up, okay? It's not overly difficult. You have to be nice, you gotta be affectionate, you gotta be intimate. A couple should be intimate three times a week. Two 20 second hugs a day. Do a, go on a date every week. When I talk to a couple on the phone and things aren't going too well, I ask them, okay, when was your last date? Oh, it's been months and months and months. When was the last time you're intimate? Oh, probably about a month ago. Did you do any 20 second hugs this week? No, we're not very affectionate with each other. They're missing all the core things. They're missing the core things. You must be intimate three times a week. Do two 20 second hugs a day. Go on a date every week. Do a dual, dual, dual hobby. Work on some dual goals. Work as a team. Those things are gonna make you work as a team and make the relationship go way better. If you don't do the fundamentals, the relationship's not gonna work anyway. And the fundamentals should be enjoyable anyway, guys. That's really your key. That's really your weapon against breakups, doing the fundamentals, okay? Doing the fundamentals, which is gonna raise attraction. The fundamentals raise attraction, always. 20 second hugs, the intimacy, the going on the dates, the dual hobbies and dual goals, you will raise attraction doing that. That's it, okay? And you don't have to beg someone to do a hobby with you. Hey, come on, let's go to the gym. Hey, come on, let's go to CrossFit together. Let's go to karate. Let's go to Toastmasters. Whatever it is, go and do a hobby together. It will bond you deeper as a couple and it'll turn you into best friends and romantic partners, okay? Very important. Most couples, they might spend time together, but they watch a movie or hang out together on the couch while they're both playing their phones. That's not quality time, guys. Quality time isn't on electronical devices, okay? Quality time is doing stuff. You have to do stuff. Take the dog for a walk together, leave the phones at home. Go on a date together, leave the phones at home. Go to CrossFit. You can't do CrossFit while you're playing on your phone. It's not possible. Same as Toastmasters. Most hobbies, you can't really use your phone while you're doing the hobby, okay? Do hobbies together and stay off your phone, okay? That's very, very essential. Very, very essential. And secondly, one thing that's really important with a weapon against breakups is don't talk negatively about your partner or the relationship. Don't talk negatively about it, okay? This is a mistake a lot of people make. They start, they start complaining about their partner, they start complaining about their relationship, and that's a form of negative reassurance, and that's causing the relationship to decline rapidly. You must talk positively about your partner and positively about the relationship. Talking negatively about it doesn't do anything. They, the venting, you're not exhaust pipes, don't vent. Venting makes the things infinitely times worse. Okay, now if the relationship is really toxic for a long amount of time and you're not complaining about it, it's good you're not complaining, but a certain level of time you need to go, this relationship's no good, it's not for me, it's falling apart, I don't like this person, the relationship's no good, I, don't, I wanna get out, okay? So that, that's okay, complaining doesn't make it better. Complaining makes it worse, never complain, take action. Now measure attraction now, if you're in a relationship now, have a think about your relationship and go, what would I rate my relationship out of 10? What I rate it out of 10, you might say, well, 9.2 or 5.7. Give it a rating. Just rate in your head the first number that comes to mind. Right now, okay? And then think, okay, well, it's a 9.2. What could I do to get it to a 10 out of 10? The fundamentals are always the answer. Always. Gone on a date, two 20 second hugs a day, intimacy, doing a dual hobby, dual goals. The fundamentals are always the key. That's what makes the difference. You gotta do the fundamentals, guys, okay? The fundamentals make the biggest of differences, and they're fun. It makes life, the fundamentals, I love the fundamentals, it makes life enjoyable, yeah? It makes life enjoyable. The 20 second hugs are grossly underrated. Do 20 second hugs with not just your romantic partner, but all your family. 20 second hugs are everywhere, all the time. They're really, really effective. Guys, that's your biggest weapon against breaking up. You don't wanna break up, do my fundamentals. Tell your partner, if, you, if you're watching this video and you're in a relationship, send this video to your partner so they can do the fundamentals too. They're easy. Everyone has time for the fundamentals. They're easy and fun. There's no excuse not to do the fundamentals. Make your relationship a 10 out of 10, guys. A 10 out of 10 is the best thing you'll ever achieve. Guys, please like and share this video. Watch my next video here. I appreciate you watching. See you guys.